What's that from Harry Kane? What the fuck is that from Harry Kane? What is that from Harry Kane? He's got two England players near him. Luke Shaw plays it into him and he just volleys it forward. Now, Maguire. What's Maguire thinking of doing? A long ball out to Reese James. Shit ball. Because he's got, he can only pass it back. Keep it on the fucking ground. Now, this is... Oh, lovely play by Sterling there. On the break for England and a great save by Testegen. Is that individualism again? It's just a long ball, isn't it? A long ball and Raheem Sterling can do stuff from there. They've got West Ham, Dortmund, Chelsea. Everybody thinks that they could do it. And I think they could do it because we're not using our players in the way that they should do. Foden for Man City. Foden to it for England. It's like eating a Subway and eating a shit way. A shit sandwich, basically. Oh, this is Foden for Man City. Yeah, I'll have, it, I'll have it on Italian bread. I'll have steak and cheese, all the salad. But put your best sauce on it. Lovely. Foden for England. Yeah, you see that horse shit on the floor? Put it in that stale bread and I'll chomp on that. That's what it is. Can't, he can't get the best out of these players. He hasn't got a bloody clue. I don't know who his, I don't know who his coaching team is, but fucking hell. They ain't, they ain't, going, they ain't getting a job anywhere after this, are they? Maybe if Stoke want to go back to 2011. I don't know why people aren't calling it out. I was driving down to London on... Driving back from London on Sunday morning. I do. 41 minutes. And the best bit's been talking about how shit England are. Uh, not, not necessarily tonight. Just in general. What a boring, boring team we are. I've not even done a tweet yet. It's stunning. It's stunning. It literally is. Park the bus. Park the bus. And, and nobody can argue about that. Nobody can argue about that, can they? You can you can be pro Southgate. You can say, give him another four years. You know, he's deserved it. Credit in the bank. We've had that. We've had the credit in the bank chat. Don't worry about the green screen. You have credit in the bank, says the genius knows. I quite like not having the green screen anyway, because when you've got the green screen, you've got to be very careful about proportion and where you move. Whereas... As I said on the United stand, I can just go all over the place. Let's see if this was a penalty. Muziala against Maguire. Yeah, stonewall penalty that. That's a stonewall penalty that is. He knows it. it's, it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty. Um, 100%. He absolutely... Oh, he had to, uh, you, you, you almost feel sorry for Maguire. He's going to get rinsed. It's a stone. It's, it's not even. It's just. It's been absolutely rinsed there. He's megged him and made him look. And and it, and it, oh my god, he plays the pass as well. He loses the possession as well. It's a double whammy. He plays a shit pass out to to the player who runs at him and skins him. Remember Eric the Banana Man that well, used to watch at school? It's Harry the Banana Man because he just got skinned. Uh, just be careful when you stretch in boxes with no... Catherine, what are you talking about? So penalty to Germany. At least if they score it, it opens the game up a little bit. Yeah, I'll be back. Maguire, I'll be back, he said. He just didn't tell us when. He will be back. He'll be back one day. So it's Gundogan against Pope. Go on, Pope. Go on, Popey. No, one one nil to Germany. Just sent him the wrong way. Well, at least the game will open up now, but that is. I was almost saying it's a horror script for Harry Maguire. It's a comedy script for others, but it's a horror script. He's uh he spent the last few days talking about I was in the Euros. Credit in the bank! Harry's another one. He's like Southgate, credit in the bank. I was injured for eight weeks before the Euros, and then I was in the and I was in the Euros team of the season again. What are you talking about? You like that crap lasagna again, aren't you? Credit in the bank. Credit in the bank. What a goal! What a goal by Havertz. Two nil. What a goal! And where's the defence in this? I need to see this again. I just think it looks like a really, really good goal. But look at the defence. You know, 
They've got no... They're so slow to get back now. Look, the, the discipline's gone because they're losing 1-0. Look at them plodding back. There's no... There's, there's no... Look at the left side here. They're just running back. That is... I, I tell you what. If you want to watch how, un how crap England are, watch that goal back again. Because that's basically why we are why we play how we play a lovely goal by Havertz you can't take it away it's a fantastic goal but the finish is elite absolutely brilliant but you give a space you give you give space to any player that's half decent in that area and they they'll, they'll fancy themselves to score it but you watch England there watch that goal back if you can be asked right it'll tell you why we're shit defending right first half eight players behind the ball it's not it's not it's not positional defending it's volume defending everybody's within 5 meters of each other it's just part of the bus you watch england defending there they're trying to score a goal at one end it's a counter none of them are looking at german players they're just sprinting to get back to the edge of the box again maguire shaw rice dyer the lot of them they're not looking at german players they're looking at sprinting back to get back into position that's the basic failure again of the coaching because even the way we defend isn't good we're not we're not intelligently picking up players we're picking up space get as many people back as quick as you can and just get in the way and they completely miss Havertz nobody when I used to play Jomps has won a World Cup mate this has got to be a goal for Luke Shaw and he has scored it's over the line it's a goal for England. Shaw with the goal. Yeah, it's well over the line. Shaw gets one back for England. 2-1. Honestly, Mark, if Rand got injured tomorrow, would you bring in Maguire or Lindelof, says Jay Pickett. I would bring in Lindelof, but I personally think um, he will bring in... You've got to stick with Southgate for the World Cup, but... 2-2! Um, two -two! What a goal by Mason Mount! This German defence has fell apart. I don't know what they're doing. But it's 2-2 because we've gone more attacking. Unbelievable what this defence has done. I mean, what this German defence has done. They've just fell apart. You're winning 2-0 and they've just... The gaps. Because England have gone attacking. But 2-2. Oh, Southgate in, everybody's saying. Um, no, still Southgate out. I mean, he's basically decided to attack because he's losing a game. I said, I said we might win this game at half-time. I still want him gone. He's boring. He's a boring, pragmatic, out-of-touch, archaic Jurassic Park manager who, because he's losing 2-0, has gone, look at him clapping himself now. Mate. You, you annoy me so much because you're now playing pumped up, passionate, attacking football because you, your job's on the line and you're 2-0 down. Why can't you play like this from minute one? Why couldn't you do this for the last five years? Why, why does it take boring everybody to death and losing a game to start playing attacking, progressive football at Wembley? Why can't we just play this from the start? I mean, if you look at the, if you look at the team at the moment... He's got... Oh, it's a penalty to England. It's a penalty to England. That was a foul on, on Bellingham. He'll give it. He will give it because it is a penalty. Yeah, 100%. 100%. You could, you could say it's a bloody red card as well. Oh no, does he get a bit of the ball? No, he's given it. He's given it. There was a little bit on the ball, but he's given the penalty. Penalty to England. I think I think he's got that right. I think it's uh yeah, that's a penalty for me. That is a penalty for me. It could I'm, I'm glad Bellingham's got up because that could have been a bad bad um injury. Biggest German collapse. Since the Berlin Wall, says Seb Watson. The fact Scotland will be in a higher league next year, absolute shambles, says reverse. Oh, mate, there'll be people convinced by this. I won't change anything I've said. The guy is out of his depth. He can't get the best out of these players. His first 
His first um, and only tactic is to play part of the bus football unless he's 2-0 down and then he goes all-out attack. He will never go all-out attack in reality and he's got to go. Um, and the longer the longer he stays in this job, the more depressing it's going to be as an England fan because he's a shit manager. But look, we've gone for it and Germany... I don't know why we had a first half where we let Germany have 65% possession. I don't know why. Because their defence is crap. Germany are not a good team. They are in transition and they're not a very good team. Their manager will probably get sacked, to be fair. Um, but look at Southgate spinning round and hugging in his assistant coach like he's... I mean, mate, you're an embarrassment. You're an absolute embarrassment. I can't wait for you to go and we can actually start playing like we have in the last 20 minutes from the minute one. Oh, no. He's offside. Havertz, is he? Surely. No, it's 3-3. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Do not believe it. How do you get yourself into a position where you're 2-0 down because you're rubbish, you attack, and you make it 3-2? Three, 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 Why is... Who, oh, I know the keeper spilt it, but it's lazy defending. You've got to follow this in. You tell your players this. On Saturday, we said... Both goalkeepers are going to spill shots because people can shoot from distance. If you're a defender or you're an attacker, you've got to follow it in. That is basic. Basic. I know I know. Pope's made a mistake. Pope's made a mistake. But the goal is also because nobody's followed it in. You've got to follow that in. Defender's got to follow that in. You've got to be awake. As soon as that shot goes, you've got to go with it. Could go either way, though. Saka. Oh, bad first touch. Still going to get through on his own. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Saka did so well. We're right behind that. Lovely shot. It's going in the bottom corner. And the keeper's just tipped it round. It is a great save. Saka's got to score that. I don't think he has. He's, he's gone wide. He had the chance to go central with his first touch, but it's a good shot. And... Uh, 